Escherichia coli 0157H7, Wikipedia Audio Escherichia coli 0157H7 is a serotype of the bacterial species Escherichia coli and is one of the Shiga toxin producing types of E. coli. It is a cause of disease, typically foodborne illness of the colonic Escherichiosis type, through consumption of contaminated and raw food, including raw milk. Infection with this type of pathogenic bacteria may lead to hemorrhagic diarrhea and to kidney failure, these have been reported to cause the deaths of children younger than 5 years of age, of elderly patients, and of patients whose immune systems are otherwise compromised. Transmission is via the fecal-oral route, and most illness has been through distribution of contaminated raw leaf green vegetables, undercooked meat and raw milk. E. coli 0157H7 infection often causes severe, acute hemorrhagic diarrhea and abdominal cramps. Usually little or no fever is present, and the illness resolves in 5 to 10 days. It can also be asymptomatic. Signs and Symptoms In some people, particularly children under 5 years of age, persons whose immunologies are otherwise compromised, and the elderly, the infection can cause hemolytic uremic syndrome, in which the red blood cells are destroyed and the kidneys fail. About 2-7% of infections lead to this complication. In the United States, HUS is the principal cause of acute kidney failure in children, and most cases of HUS are caused by E. coli 0157H7. Strains of E. coli that express Shiga and Shiga-like toxins gain this ability due to infection with a prophage containing the structural coating for the toxin, and non-producing strains may become infected and produce Shiga-like toxins after incubation with Shiga toxin-positive strains. The prophage responsible seems to have infected the strain's ancestors fairly recently, as viral particles have been observed to replicate in the host if it is stressed in some way. All clinical isolates of E. coli 0157H7 possess the plasmid P0157. The periplasmic catalase is encoded on P0157 and may enhance the virulence of the bacterium by providing additional oxidative protection when infecting the host. E. coli 0157H7 non-hemorrhagic strains are converted to hemorrhagic strains by lysogenic conversion after a bacteriophage infection to non-hemorrhagic cells. While it is relatively uncommon, the E. coli serotype 0157H7 can naturally be found in the intestinal contents of some cattle, goats, and even sheep. The digestive tract of cattle lack the Shiga toxin receptor globotriacilceramide, and thus, these can be asymptomatic carriers of the bacterium. The prevalence of E. coli 0157H7 in North American feedlot cattle herds ranges from 0 to 60 percent. Some cattle may also be so-called supershedders of the bacterium. Supershedders may be defined as cattle exhibiting rectoanal junction colonization and excreting greater than 10 3 to 4 CFUG1 feces. Super shedders have been found to constitute a small proportion of the cattle in a feedlot but they may account for 90% of all E. coli 0157H7 excreted. Infection with E. coli 0157H7 follows ingestion of contaminated food or water, or oral contact with contaminated surfaces. It is highly virulent, with a low infectious dose an inoculation of fewer than 10 to 100 CFU of E. coli 0157H7 is sufficient to cause infection, compared to over 1 million CFU for other pathogenic E. coli strains. A stool culture can detect the bacterium, although it is not a routine test and so must be specifically requested. The sample is cultured on sorbitol macunky agar 
or the variants Fixim Potassium Tellurite Sorbitol Makanki Agar. On SMAC Agar 0157 colonies appear clear due to their inability to ferment sorbitol, while the colonies of the usual sorbitol fermenting serotypes of E. coli appear red. Sorbitol non-fermenting colonies are tested for the somatic O157 antigen before being confirmed as E. coli O157. Like all cultures, diagnosis is time-consuming with this method, swifter diagnosis is possible using quick E. coli DNA extraction method plus PCR techniques. Newer technologies using fluorescent and antibody detection are also under development. E. coli O157H7 infection is nationally reportable in the USA and Great Britain, and is reportable in most US states. It is also reportable in most states of Australia including Queensland. While fluid replacement and blood pressure support may be necessary to prevent death from dehydration, most victims recover without treatment in 5 to 10 days. There is no evidence that antibiotics improve the course of disease, and treatment with antibiotics may precipitate hemolytic uremic syndrome. Antidiarrheal agents, such as lopiramide, should also be avoided as they may prolong the duration of the infection. Certain novel treatment strategies, such as the use of anti-induction strategies to prevent toxin production and the use of anti toxin antibodies, have also been proposed. Bacteriology The pathogen results in an estimated 2,100 hospitalizations annually in the United States. The illness is often misdiagnosed, therefore, Expensive and invasive diagnostic procedures may be performed. Patients who develop HUS often require prolonged hospitalization, dialysis, and long-term follow-up. Proper hand washing after using the lavatory or changing a diaper, especially among children or those with diarrhea, reduces the risk of transmission. Anyone with a diarrheal illness should avoid swimming in public pools or lakes, sharing baths with others, and preparing food for others and even avoiding raw milk. The USDA banned the sale of ground beef contaminated with the O157H7 strain in 1994. Natural Habitat Transmission Diagnosis Surveillance Treatment Costs Prevention United States